It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to read an RDS file into R. Hello, everyone, and welcome to R. Well, my R, which is the Windows GUI. I'm too old for R Studio. It makes me confused. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to read an RDS file into R. It's the one I exported to RDS in a previous video. I'll link to that in the description. You don't have to watch that other one. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Basically, I put a CSV file in R, then I exported it as an RDS, and now I'm going to read that RDS file in just to show you how to do it. There, wasn't that exciting. Oh yeah, I should really tell you the file is called line items. So, okay, see this code? Well, actually, before we get to the code, let's look in our data directory at our RDS. See here, there's the CSV from the earlier video, and here's the RDS we are going to read in. Okay, we're going back to R now. What I did is map that data directory as the working directory for my session now. Actually, you can do that by going here. See that? Click there and point it to your data directory. But warning, it's different on a Mac. I'll link to a blog post in the description to help you if you are, shall we say, Mac challenged. I used to be a Mac lover in 1984. No kidding, I had a Mac Plus. Dating myself, so old. Okay, but anyway, let's look at this code. Okay, so what do we see? We see the little arrow. Actually, that's where my eye goes. Just right there, that says we are making some sort of object in R. Actually, we are putting the RDS from my data directory into R's brain. So what are we going to call it when it gets into R's brain? We are going to call it line items. See, the arrow points to what we will call the object when it gets into R's brain. By the way, the arrow is just a less than sign followed by a dash, nothing special. Okay, so now let's look at the right side of the arrow at our read RDS command. See, it says read and then RDS in all caps. R is picky about case. And then we see open parentheses and what do those mean? Arguments, arguments, arguments. Actually, we have some cute code here. We only have one argument. And that one argument is the name of the file in the data directory we just looked at, which happens to be lineitems.rds. Because we set the data directory as a working directory, we just have to put that. And don't forget the RDS extension on the argument. And don't forget these quotation marks around the argument. And then last but not least, don't forget to close your parentheses. Okay, we're looking good. I'm going to highlight and control R. Okay, it ran. But how do we know it's in there? I'll highlight the name of the data frame object I supposedly made, line items, and control R to see it. Lovely, truly lovely. I can confirm my RDS is in R. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.